Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of publishing and sharing settings in Google Sites. This came up in a webinar that I did earlier today, so I thought I'd make a short video just about this little topic. So let's say I have this sample student portfolio site here, and I want my students to publish the site for others to see. In the upper right hand corner, we'll hit that publish button and they can choose the web address, but I'll use the default one that's automatically generated. But we can see right here, the site is restricted to only people within my domain. And in many cases, that's the default setting for many Google Workspace domains. But we can manage that and change that out. So let's go to the links button here and change it so the published site is public so that anyone can view it, but we're going to leave the draft as restricted so only people added can get into the draft or edit screen. You can see I can also change that to anybody within my domain or anybody with the link. I'm going to leave it as restricted, and I'd recommend you do the same with your students. And if you want to publish a site publicly, then just choose that public option, hit done, and now publish the site. Now that is different than inviting collaborators to work on the site with you. If you want someone to work on the site with you, in the upper right hand corner, hit that little person icon, and we can now invite our friends, we're going to invite Mason, to work on that with me, and he is now an editor, or I can say he's just a viewer. Mason's now an editor of this site. Now you can also see up here, we can go in and change these permissions even more. We can say editors can change, publish, and add new people, or we can turn that off, or turn it back on. And now Mason will get an email, and he is now allowed to edit and publish on this site. So again, this button here is for inviting collaborators, while this button is for publishing the site. In the upper right hand corner, you can go into your publishing settings again, and you can change those at any time. So that's a short overview of sharing and publishing settings in Google Sites. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.